Angie and Rob. It's taken us a good long while to get to this point, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Months <laughs> of preparation and planning, not to mention years of dreaming, all come to fruition in this service here today. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and in adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord, Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Angie Gallup and Rob Blakeney now come to be joined. We love you and we know you're going to be a beautiful bride. And I just want to say I love you again. I love you very much. Um, you've been my baby. You've been my best friend since you were little. You've always been with me. And I wish you all the best. Did Rob ever like come up to you and ask for Angie's hand? Yes. Marriage? How yes. did he do that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he called me and asked me if I approved. And I remember I got off the phone and I said to Michelle, I says, does he know what he's getting into? <laughs> <laughs> and we were just like, <gasps> so. But y'all will make a great couple. They are, they're very good and Rob is very good with her and we love Rob. And um, he's been a great addition to this family already and everybody loves him. The two will become one flesh. The culmination of all these hopes and dreams, all these plans and preparation is the creation of a new being, Angie and Rob, but together as a married couple. May the expanse of your married life together reflect the beauty of this day. Paul tells his listeners that they're to be imitators of God, not just of Jesus Christ, but of God, as beloved children of God, you are both called to imitate or model yourselves after God. Specifically, as God does in showing kindness, you are to do so to one another. Show kindness to one another, to your family and friends, and to the world around you. Do as God does in forgiving, First of all, each other and yourselves, your family and your friends, and the world around you. But most of all, do as God does in maintaining a tender heart, a soft place right there, an open and forgiving heart toward one another, toward your families and friends, and toward the world around you. And in this imitation of God's love, your love for each other and your ability to model godly behavior for the world around you will continue to grow strong. God bless you both, as you have blessed all of us today by including us in your marriage. Yeah, well, Rob, maybe you should know this, but Angie, you have a way of getting what you want. Uh, you. You uh, you got me uh, one time, you got me to get you some uh, pink roller blades, and I got them for you, and, and, I, and you, you really loved them. 
But then when it got time for you to have a car, you talked me into a black Honda Accord, and I didn't want you to have black because I figured it'd be too hot. But we got it nevertheless. Well, when you graduated from high school, then uh, we had a budget for your uh, new car, and you, we happened to go by a Lexus dealership, and you fell in love with a car. And I said, no, that's too much money. Well, the next morning I got up and there was posted notes all over the house that this is the car I want, please, please, please. And they were on the coffee maker, they were on my mirror, they were everywhere. And you certainly had a way of getting what you want. So Rob, either I was a softy or she's very good at getting what she wants. <laughs> Angie, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Will. Will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. If I ever get the love to say, my loneliness can't say you will. Ooh, say you will. Ooh, Give me a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Rob's the baby of the group. Well, there's one in Atlanta that I think may be a year or two younger, and uh, but they're all married too. And this is the third wedding in the family in the last four months wow. of the grandchildren. So uh, we've had a busy summer. Absolutely. And the helping to plan this one here has been been delightful. Oh. We've enjoyed it. Those what do you think of Angie? I think she is absolutely precious, and we're thrilled to have her in our family. Uh, and I know that's kind of a phrase that gets overused, but we really are. And I think she's going to be a real asset to m Rob. And we certainly think he's wonderful. So I think it's going to be a wonderful match. Congratulations on today. This is a very special and big day. You both deserve it. Uh, probably one of the biggest days of your life. Uh, Rob, I can tell you haven't haven't known you but just a few years, but I know when Angie looks at you, uh, she, she loves you dearly. I've never seen her look at a man like she does you. Uh, I want to wish you both the best uh, and just stay each other's best friend. Marriage isn't easy, but if you just love each other and be each other's best friend, you'll work through anything. We love you and enjoy today. You getting ready? Oh, thank God, it's warm out here. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, you look yeah. wonderful. Oh, very pretty. pretty. Mm hmm. You ready? 
Very great. He's a he's a good guy. He's he's a real neat, clean guy. He likes everything just you know perfect. Uh, he's a uh, he likes to win. He don't like to lose. And he, he gets real he gets real frustrated. We play golf Friday, and he gets real frustrated when he loses to golf. So and. Uh, He's, uh, I have four children, and he's the one, when I look out the window, I know he's home because he's backed his car in. He never pulls it in straight. He always backs it in. I never understood that. He can't tell me why either. But, Easy getaway. But yes. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's real easy to make friends. You know, everybody loves him. So we wish him the best, him and Angie. Angie, I love you. Rob, I love y'all. I'm so excited for y'all. Can't um, wait to see y'all grow old together and have babies. Um, Walker needs friends like now. Um, I am so thankful for our friendship that we've had f since we were babies. Um, I've enjoyed over the years cheering together. I hope you're the first and last person I've ever gone to jail with. I hope you're the last one that I ever will go to jail with. And um, our college years, we have more memories than we even know where to start. I love you with all my heart. You look gorgeous today and I can't wait to stand by your side. Um, I just wanted to say that it is kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of um, interesting to see us dressed up like this because when we were little we were always running around the yard probably most of the time half naked, no shoes on and in the woods and, and deer hunting so this is definitely a change between where we are today and what we've become and so that, that's, yeah, I don't know what to say. So you love that's her. Perfect. I do love her. God. In the name of God. I rob. I rob. Take you, Angie. Take you, Angie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Angie. I, Angie. Take you, Rob. Take you, Rob. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow.
Angie. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Rob, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Now that Angie and Rob have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Rob, you may kiss your boots.